Hey, 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 this is Uncle Mark in the mothership with a three-string cigar box guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Get Back. This is the Beatles. This is part one. Part one will basically do the lyrics section. Um, the... And uh, part two of this lesson will do the... All the, uh, the little John Lennon parts that, that weave in and out of this uh, song while the lyrics are going on. So, um... Anyway, let's get started. So we got some fancy chord maneuvering in this song. But what do we got going on? So let's just start out here. G, D, G. 42, 34, 24 are my gauges. Um, it's an open G chord. Okay? So at the nut, we're in an open G chord. G sharp. A. An important chord in this song. And it's right below that dot right there. B flat, B, C, C sharp, D. Another important chord. In this song. D sharp E F F sharp G again. G sharp A again. B flat V C C sharp D and etc etc etc. So that's how the, the fretboard goes with bar chords. With um this chord here that I play, this shape that does this, it starts out with your first finger being on the D string. So if you put your first finger here on this D string, B flat, B flat, okay, that's a D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, and this shape would look like seven, five, seven. So seven, five, seven, G, G sharp, A, okay, nine, seven, nine was what that would look like. So it looks like here, here and here. This is going to come in handy because what we're going to do is use this shape to go from A to G to D to A. So if you watch the way I move my hands through this, and I'm going to go real slow and show you how I do this, you will see a, a pattern emerge and this pattern repeats over and over. So it's A. Now we're going to go up to the D. When I, once I move, then I stay up here. I take my first finger and go here, here, and here. Boom. A, G, D. There's my D bar chord. A. That, in its entirety, is this whole song. Is making these shapes work. So, if you go real slow. Jo -jo The whole song is the same way. The 
So I'm using some palm muting. Let's go through the rhythm of this thing. So if you want to put your palm here on the bridge, okay, make that A. And slide your hand forward while you're just coming down. of what you want to do. You want to touch the strings, but just enough. So what I kind of do is I lean my fingers down here, and you can see where I hit, right? I lean my fingers in and kind of lean on, just kind of lean right here, kind of rock onto the strings. And that way I can rock away or rock on, so like this, you know. is a or in this finger you can use your pinky I use my pinky a lot because I have a really strong pinky but you can use your third finger and when you hit the G and the D it's a bam 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 So I want to go through how to create these chord shapes again, because many of you all get confused by how to make this shape. So going from D to A, okay, there's a D. You're going to just pull your first finger down. Just watch that first finger. You're going to pull it down to that note right there. That note is an A, and you can see it as a dot. So just pull your finger down, okay? Then move this third finger over to where this other dot is. Don't worry about the note, okay? Don't worry about the note at all. It's an E, by the way, but don't worry about the note. And then your pinky is going to go down beneath it like that. And I want you to get used to this shape because you're going to need it, and you're going to slide around on it. G, A, G, A, G. So that's how I want you to work on this shape. Um, it's, a, it's a great shape to know. And it also works as a uh, movable shape, just like bar chords go D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G. This can go A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. Um, for some of you more advanced students, you don't really have to go much past this on this lesson. You can uh, move forward and uh, see part two. But uh, for you beginners, really work on, work on getting this D. Moving your finger down to that D string now. That way you can hit that G. Then you hit the D again with this finger. You just roll off. Now you're back to A. So the trick for all you beginners out there is to go from A to D. And then go from A to G to D to A. So I'll go through it really slow one more time. So the little intro is a It 
it's just a just a a driving a to get you rocking and ready for this tune um you can play this song in a along with the album so uh go right ahead and do that um the beatles did it the same way every time it's fantastic um what a great song thank you so much for everything you do for me i do have a uh, paypal link down here below in the show notes it's a paypal.me forward slash uncle mark tips Thank you for all your donations. You have made the new mothership totally possible here. And uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, really, a, a buck a show is all we're looking for here. Um, just to keep, to keeps the lights on, keeps the heat in, you know, um, that sort of thing. I thank you so much. Um, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. A lot of you viewers haven't subscribed. There's a little subscribe button right about there. So hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to this channel, please. And uh, you will start receiving more video. Um, Instagram also. Uh, Uncle Mark Cigar Box Lessons on Instagram. Thank you so much for everything you do. And part two coming up. Bye.